Thank you. Uh, let me start with um, some update on the KTV cluster and our following our follow-up action to contain the spread of this cluster. So as of 16 July, there are 120 cases linked to this cluster. And MOH is doing what we can to contain the spread. There are three main measures now we are undertaking. First is quarantine. Um, when the cluster break out, broke out, we are able to identify the staff working in those joints. <coughs> And there is safe entry and there is TT uh, trace together data, which we, we, we did use to trace, contact trace some of the patrons. So altogether, there are 2,480 2, of these individuals and they are all placed under quarantine. And during quarantine, they will be tested multiple times, entry, during and exit. And some of them have turned out to be positive already. That is the first ring. The second ring is the other staff and patrons because our safe entry and trace together data is not likely to be comprehensive for these joints. So what we have done over the past few days is to encourage patrons especially who have visited these joints or come into contact with the social hostesses in any setting to please come forward and get themselves tested. And there have been many who did come forward and has been coming forward to get themselves tested. So our call started uh, three days ago on the 13th of July. So that day, 160 were tested, 17 were positive. So we are turning in a positive rate of 10%, which is quite high. And then 14th of July, it increased to 501, came forward to be tested, and eight positive. So the percentage of positivity becomes lower. And yesterday, 15th of July, 1,003 came forward to be tested, and we had zero positive. So I think what we see is that people who come forward, they are worried, they are visited, or, or they have been to the malls where these places are. And you can see the numbers the C plus conversion decaying. So I think this is the group where I think the risk is contained. The worry now is who else have they come into contact with before they get themselves tested? And are they infected? And this is the bigger worry, which is the secondary infection. So all in 1,660 individuals have come forward to be tested, either at our regional screening centers or our PHPC clinics and 25 are tested positive so far. But those not positive and tested negative, we are not out of the woods yet because there is an incubation period. So if you are not quarantined, uh, that means you didn't come into close contact with the confirmed cases, notwithstanding that you are tested negative, continue to monitor your health and minimize interactions with your loved ones and with other people. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that's ring two and then there is a, actually there are four rings this is a ring two there's a third ring which is other members of public uh, which we issued health risk warning this ring refers to about 2,000 members of the public who has come into contact with the confirmed cases so far and they are picked up by our trace together so I want to clarify, you know, in case they are worried or their families are worried, is that these individuals, we are not saying they went to the KTV lounges, but you have come into contact with the confirmed cases, could have been anywhere, yeah, and picked up by our data. So they will receive, or they have already received, an SMS called health risk warning. This health risk warning is quite a serious matter. It contains a legal obligation where they have to get themselves tested at, at designated testing centres and then you are legally required to self-isolate until your test results come out and it's negative. Yeah. And even if you are tested negative, we will issue them self-test uh, ART, uh, antigen rapid test kits, so that they can monitor their own health for the next 14 days. Somewhere towards the end of the 14 days, they are again legally required 
to go through another PCR test to make sure that you're not incubating and you are out of the woods. Yeah. So that's the third ring. The final ring is called health risk alert. Here there are several thousand people, or maybe more than 10,000 in fact. And, and this group uh, issued this alert because some of the joints are located in malls or premises frequented by other members of the public. So um, you may, you, again, this is not a group that have gone to the joints. Neither have they come into very close contact with the confirmed cases, but they've been to the same places as where the joints are located. And they have no legal obligation to get tested, but they will be advised strongly to monitor their health, minimize interactions, and then self-test is very much encouraged for this group. Um, the challenge of this cluster, unlike clusters in a mall or in, say, Bukit Merah, where we know who the tenants are, who live in which blocks, and we can mount a geographical testing exercise and test everybody within that geography. The problem with this cluster is that we, have, we don't have full information of who are the customers, where they have been to, and where they are now. It's hard to gather them together and to mount a special ops. But nevertheless, as you can see, the four rings we are doing, MOH, is doing whatever we can to aggressively trace and test them. Um, notwithstanding that, we should expect to see many more cases emerging in the coming days.